um, the problem when you have you know, the static glass and uh, that is uh, using um, you, you 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 have a class that um, basically using some static class, and you want to write tests for this class. And uh, uh, if this static class is using some database or file system or whatever, it's not not very appropriate to use in unit testing. Uh, and how to solve this problem, especially when you have a legacy code that you don't um, basically want to break uh, the rest of the system, and you want, but you want to put the class under test. Um, so let's uh, see. We have it's not hard to imagine such kind of code in a legacy system. Uh, let's say you have a worker class that does some work, and um, part of that the worker class is calling the logger. Uh, to output some log messages or errors or whatever and if you look at the logger class then you'll see it's uh, directly using the file system um, it can be that it's using a database for logging or something like that uh, let's say you want to write a tests for worker uh, but um, you don't want to Basically, uh, you don't want the unit test to touch your system, to to uh, touch your file system, or to write some um, log messages to the actual database, and you want to <coughs> basically change this. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this refactoring when you don't have unit tests, so that uh, you don't break anything. Um, to start with, I'm going to take this thing this whole thing out of here uh, right here and um, basically what I'm gonna do is uh, do something like this I just take out all the methods from the logger and uh, I'm creating a non-static class uh, like this the logger implementation and put these methods here then what I'm going to do is, uh, well, you can imagine that there's a lot of methods here. Uh, so basically, I'm going to remove this static modifier. So uh, to do this, I call this find and replace uh, space static. I'm going to replace with just a space. Okay, so now I have this methods in a non-static class. <clears throat> but but I still have problems. Uh, I imagine that logger is used all over the place or in all the system, and you will have immediately have a lot of compi compile errors, yeah. compile time errors. So uh, what, next, what I'm going to do is to use the resharper to help me with uh, such refactoring as uh, extract interface, and. I'm going to give it a name, a logger, and select all the public methods. Now, I'm going to remove the static modifier out of here from the original logger class and say that it's implementing the iLogger. But before doing this, I'm going to put in the instance variable, the private um, iLogger instance and when implementing this class by using the resharper I'm going to delegate implementation to the instance field okay let's do this uh, great uh, still I have a compile errors because this class is not static let's uh, make it static again remove this because static class cannot implement um, cannot implement um, interface and then I'm going to make all the methods and fields static again so I'm going to do here the same here and the same here uh, great now I don't have a compile errors but still I cannot uh, um, do much within the tests uh, but what I'm gonna do here 
<clears throat> is for, for the moment I'm going to encapsulate in field make it instance um, and let's see uh, this encapsulated field no update local usages please so that every method will be using the property instead of field and I'm going to leave this set method here and for the get method I'm going to say literally this I'm going to return the instance field or if it's null then I'm going to initialize the instance field with a new logger implementation that's this way I'm uh, basically what I did is that the logger class is still working as, as, as it should uh, so the rest of the system will not know about this change that I have actually extracted the implementation out of the logger static class and put it to to another class and also I introduced the interface so with this with this in place um, I can do something like that so before uh, doing my test I can say a logger instance equals um, Um, oh, I don't have uh, in substitute installed. Well, okay, let's install it real quick. Um, the new get packages, go to the new get packages, browse and substitute. <clears throat> yeah, install it, please. Okay. So with this, I can do literally this. Uh, I can replace the instance with a substitute for iLogger. Yeah. So basically, this will give me a stub implementation for for the logger, so it does not write anything to disk or database, and I can then safely run my tests. Uh, but the problem is, um, uh, there's another problem with this. So for the initial uh, refactoring effort, when you just want to start uh, refactoring a class and you want to cover it with with the tests, the, the, this 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 thing will will do fine. This this thing will do uh, will do fine and um, it will do the job. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend you to leave this uh, uh, for longer than I, I don't know for longer than it's needed to to do the refactoring and complete once uh, you have covered your um, in our case the worker class is is the target of our refactoring so once we covered it with unit tests what I recommend you to do is to do uh, literally to do a dependency injection so basically uh, introduce now you can uh, once you covered uh, this class with tests now you can uh, do more invasive refactoring and so I recommend you to introduce um, something like this uh, write a constructor and pass the iLogger instance here and um, well let's do as usual and just uh, replace this calls to the static class with or uh, with the calls to uh, injected class uh, now in the tests, obviously you would need this, so uh, you would need to do this change. So you need to pass this logger stub or whatever in the, in the constructor. Uh, why having the public static instance uh, variable would cause you a problem is because um, for the different tests, you might want to diff have a different configuration of the logger, or uh, for example, you um, for 
uh, for some tests you want logger to for example throw an exception and if you use this public um, uh, public static variable in the logger class you will have problem that uh, the tests will begin to interfere with, with each other so um, you you have in one test you have configured mock with um, to throw an exception and another test will s start failing so basically i don't recommend you to stick with this solution for for uh, for more than it's needed to do the complete refactoring of the class and to remove um, using all the static class and replace it with the dependency injection well that's all uh, thanks for watching well, see you later. Bye.